What is up XR developer? The Unity XR Interaction Toolkit 3.0 has been released for some time now. This is the latest update of Unity's own solution to make XR game. It contains some pretty cool new features like a far and near interaction or the improvement of the climb system with the climb teleportation. But the best improvement for me is definitely the VR template that you can directly download from the Unity Hub. Yes, this will allow you to create a VR-ready project in just a few seconds. So in this video, we are going to have a look at the VR template to better understand what change we can expect from this new update. By the way, more than a VR template, there is now a VR multiplayer template that has been released also, which I will cover next, so you better subscribe to not miss this video. But first, a big shout out to today's sponsor, Developer Nation. Now, Developer Nation has made a survey for XR developer. The goal of this survey is to collect information about what matters for us to then give us a better understanding at how we can build things. So this is why your opinion matter. No matter where you're from and if you are a pro or not, you can help the XR community by taking 8 minutes of your time to go to the description down below and fill the survey. There are even price you can get from answering, so no excuse. Okay, so we are inside the Unity Hub and to open the VR template with Unity XRI 3.0, let's first click on New Project. And right here, you will need a version of Unity above 2022.3 which you can select over there. Mine is 2022.3.20, but any version above this will work. And if you go down below, you should see here for the VR multiplayer, which is something that I will talk in a future video, but you should also see this VR or mixed reality core that you can select. So if we click on it, maybe we need to download it first by clicking somewhere over there. Of course, if you want to start the project with mixed reality, so, to have the environment showing as well, you should select this one instead. But to showcase better the Unity XRI 3.0, I think this one is the best. So let's set the project name to XRI test. You can even select an organization and then we can click on create project. Okay, and this is what you should see after launching the template. As you can see, we already have a welcome note, which is always nice to have. We can then click on close to remove it. And as you can see on the right side, we even have a tutorial window with some nice documentation for you to read. But of course, I'm here to sum up everything that you will need to know. So let me right click and close the tab and let's have a look at this beautiful scene. And the first thing that we can notice is this beautiful environment. We can even get a bit closer to have a look at everything. Oh, and let me go on the top right and maybe reduce the size of the 3D icons. And as you can see, I really think that Unity XR team has done a really good job with the aesthetic of this scene. Simple but beautiful like every VR game should be. Now anyway, as you can see in this simple scene right there, we first have the XR origin. And if we go down below, then we can see on each children multiple things. We have first the different locomotion that we have, like turn, move, teleportation. And if we go under the left controller, we can see all of the interactors that are present. We have the poke interactor to poke, the near far interactor, which is the new one that I'm going to show, the teleport interactor to teleport, and more. We then have the interactable, which you can find in the scene and which will demonstrate a particular feature of one of the interactor. Like, for example, this object that we will be able to activate, this one that we can grab with two hands this one that only rotates and even more. Then we also have UI and environment and everything is well structured with prefab. This is really awesome. But I know let's not wait any longer and let's go back to the game windows, play maximize for this windows to maximize and let's click on play to find out how everything is looking inside a VR headset. Okay, and here we are inside the beautiful VR template. As you can see, we are welcomed by this video, which will show you the different input that you can do to grab stuff, which is super cool to have. It's already nice to have like a video player, uh, also the application that you can tweak. Now, anyway, let's click on pause and let's go to this next windows, which is a Unity World Space Canvas. Now, the first thing that I noticed uh, while preparing this video is that you now have this awesome grab uh, stuff to move around the canvas, similar to what you can see on the Apple Vision Pro UR interface. And now you can actually grab it with the grab button and you can use it to move it around 
Now, this is actually one feature that is made with the near and far interactor. And as you can see, you can already move stuff with the ray, put them far or near from you. You can even grab them normally, so without a ray. So that's pretty cool. And this already show you one nice feature that uh, this template has. But now let's click on continue. And I will let you pause this if you want to read more about this. But this is basically explaining to you what I just said about this template. Now, anyway, let's move it to the side. And let's focus on this next windows, which also has this awesome grab bar. And this demonstrates again the different UI that you can do with the ray interaction. You have here a slider, you have the pattern, a drop down, where you can select one of the options. You have a toggle. And first thing first, I think that this UI is looking really nice with uh, the different toggle animation. So this is a really nice thing to have in your own project. And if I grab it, you can also see another interactor, which is here, the poke interactor. As you can see, if I poke one of the bottom, it is working as well. So you have two things that are interacting with the UI. You have the ray and the poking, which is super cool. Okay, guys, so some audio of this video wasn't recorded properly. So no worry if it doesn't sound right. Now let's have a look on this side where we can see some grab interactable from the XRI 3.0. For example, on the right, we can grab this stick with the ray and move it around. But if we put it near us, as you can see, we can directly grab it with the controller. And the best part, we can use both hands to grab it and rotate it at the same time. So that's very cool. Now feel free to try uh, this with the other objects that you can find on the scene. Some will behave differently. For example, this one which can only rotate using the XR knob component. Or this one that directly snap to a certain position on your hand. And if we actually activate it by pressing on the trigger button, we can fire some particle. So cool! But something else that's really nice to see on this XRI template, and that is not mentioned anywhere on the documentation, is these awesome tool tips. As you can see, if I look at one of my controllers, we now have little curve that shows what the input will do. I think this is really cool and that's something you can actually directly copy for your own project. Now, on the right controller, we can see, for example, some input for the rotation. So if I press on the right and left touchpad, we can actually rotate. If we move forward, this will actually trigger the teleportation. We can actually change also the direction of the teleportation with the touchpad. And if we release the thumbstick, we get teleported. Now, something that's also nice to see is that you can see that the whole area is a teleportation area, but you also have this nice looking teleportation point near where we started this template. Now, this teleportation point forces you to look into a certain direction when you teleport, and I think that the look of it is really well done. But if we have a look at the left controller, you can see that we have different tooltip from this one, which are basically the way we are moving. And if you use the left joystick, you can actually move with a continuous movement in all direction, which I think is really great. And as you can see, you have a tunneling effect. So this tunneling effect really helps to reduce the motion sickness while moving. And I think it's really something great also to not have all of your player getting sick inside your game. And there you go, this sums up what you can see inside this project. Different interaction, different interactor, different interactable, the teleportation, the continuous movement, the tunneling, the UI here that you can even grab now with the awesome new near and far interactor. But there is more to show you. And for this, we will need to leave play mode. So let's drop the headset and just press again on the play button. Okay, so for the next thing that I want to show you, we need to go to the project folder right there. And by the way, the scene that we are right now is simply in the scene folder with the name sample scene right there. But you also have the basic scene that only contains the XR origin. So without all of the other interactable, if you just want to start fresh. But also if you go to samples, XR interaction toolkit, 3.0 starter asset, you will see here this demo scene that you can click on. And there you go. So this demo scene is another really nice sample that you can find, which kind of more explain the difference between the interactor. For example, you have the different grab movement here with kinematic, instantaneous and velocity track, the different poking. And here, this thing which is demonstrating the climb interactable with on the right side, the new climb teleportation 
So let me just show you how everything is looking by again clicking on play. Okay, we can either move to one of the table or directly teleport to uh, one of those with here this teleportation point. And as you can see, we can now grab the object. As you can see, the velocity track movement will use a collision to move the object, which is not the case, for example, the instantaneous, which can pass right through. The same goes for the kinematic. You can also grab it with not the ray, but directly with the controller, which is really, really nice. Now for the proking, this is pretty straightforward with three different uh, outputs. For example, here on this one, you can actually increment the little text that you have. And here on this table, I think that this really uh, shows well the different attach that you can have. You have the dynamic attach. So this means that every time that you grab the object, it stays at the place that you are grabbing it. You have here the single fix attach, which no matter how you are grabbing it, will snap to a certain direction. So, and finally, you have the dual fixed attach, which means that it snaps to a certain position, but that you can change the position with your other controller. So that's really cool. But something really interesting is that now with the new XRI 3.0, we have a cool improvement of the climb system. If we climb enough on this ladder, as you can see, we have this arrow showing. And if we release the grab button to release the ladder, we directly teleport on the top. So I didn't expect this kind of update, but this is really nice to see. Now this is called the climb teleportation system. So you can either directly teleport with the ray to one of these teleportation points or go to them by climbing a little bit on the ladder, looking at one of the points and release the ladder to get directly teleported. So I think that all of these are some really nice improvements. Maybe a bit niche for this climb teleportation stuff, which I didn't know about before. But this is super interesting to see all of this awesome system bring to the same VR template that you can just launch in one click within the Unity Hub. And there you go guys, I hope that you enjoyed watching this little exploration of this VR template using Unity XRI 3.0. Thank you for watching and thank you to the awesome Patreon who are supporting my work. And if like them you want to get access to exclusive tutorials, join us, the link is in the description down below. Also, a big shout out to Developer Nation, the sponsor of today's video. So if you'd like to help the XR community and get a chance to win a prize, go to the description below where you can answer the AR VR survey in approximately 8 minutes. Thank you for watching and see you very soon, bye bye.